So let's start. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. And it is inspiring to be a part of this event and an honor to be among such great speakers today. And Manka just did an amazing talk about being lazy, being lazy with your code, and also being lazy in your life. And I just wish all of us can be lazy in the same way as Venka is, as he mentioned. But I want and we want to talk about also being passionate about being hungry for knowledge and about being eager to share. So the Java community is one of the greatest communities of professional developers to be part of. We have a lot of Java developers here at JetBrains. And even I used to be a Java developer but a long time ago. So you can see we have a lot of Java developers, a lot of developers at JetBrains. And all of us, all of us at JetBrains, we are passionate about great code. But we are also passionate about continuous improvement. We hold learning in the highest regard. We are inspired to support those who never stop learning and those who help others get better at programming. So that's why we want to talk to you today about our products that help people learn and teach Java. And uh, as you can see, we have decided to present as a team today. So Anna will take over switching the slides while I'm talking. Thanks, Anna. And uh, then Anna will present and we will do our best to keep in sync. So you can also add any questions to the chat, please do. We are very welcome to add any comments, any questions, any ideas uh, to the chat. And we also have our support engineer, Ilnur, and our content manager, Igor. They will ask for your questions on the go. Hi, hi guys, I'm waving you. Thanks for helping us today. And at the beginning, at the end of the presentation, sorry, we will also have a dedicated time where we'll, we'll have time to answer your questions from this chat and we'll try to address all of them. So you're welcome to add any. So let's start. JetBrains has been supporting the educational community for years now, mostly with free licenses for our professional tools. We work with students and teachers, with the user groups and meetups, with learning centers, schools, colleges, and universities. And we have a lot of partnership programs with many educational institution, institutions. And you can take a look on the slide. You can see that the numbers are quite impressive. So we gave a lot of free licenses. But uh, since 2015, we've been developing educational products as well. So educational products by JetBrains, products that help people learn and teach programming. So now we have several educational products. JetBrains Academy is a project-based learning platform where one can learn and practice programming. So now we have Java and Python tracks, they're available, and we also have Kotlin and web development tracks under construction. We also have our educational IDEs. So they are educational editions for Flagman IDEs. We have PyCharm educational and IntelliJ ID educational editions. And we also have our EDU tools plugin that brings all the educational features to our other IDEs. So you can see the list of them. So you can get the educational features inside WebStorm, CLion, Goland, Android Studio, and all other editions of PyCharm and IDEA, not only educational ones. OK, so when we talk about our educational products, we actually have the one thing we talk about. All of them have one thing in common, a learning by doing hands-on approach. We believe that there is the only way to learn how to program and write. <laughs> this is to write your own code. The main focus is always on practice. But learning is also about building skills and habits that professional developers have, about understanding what development tools are needed and why. So it's about experimenting and trying new things with all the support those tools can give. So it is actually not only about learning new topics or new technologies, new languages. It's about safe environment. It's about the professional environment. And it's about learning professional development tools along learning new technologies and languages. Learning is also connected with teaching and sharing. 
you don't need to be a professional teacher to share your knowledge. You can actually can learn by teaching. And we create our products not only for students and teachers, but for everyone, for lifelong learners. And developers today, they're for sure are lifelong learners. You have to be one if you want to keep up. And we'd like to show how you can advance your learning with our educational products, no matter what level you're at or what goals you have. So today is all about Java. We celebrate Java today. <laughs> Hooray! And so it is kind of fitting that if we are talking about Java, we mentioned the Java track on JetBrace Academy and also IntelliJ ID Educational Edition. And in this presentation, we'll take a closer look at both. So here's our plan for what we'll cover today. We will start with the learning opportunities for Java beginners and go on to more advanced options and scenarios. And at this point, I will gladly ask Anna to take over. Games Academy is a project-based learning platform with a single concept suffix, interactive challenges, and integration with development tools. What does it mean? We believe lectures are never enough when learning to program. You need to practice, and even better when you learn by creating working applications. You can start by choosing the Java track. On average, the Java track takes 130 hours to complete. This means you will need about seven months if you study four hours per week, and you will learn the basic syntax of Java, and you will get an introduction to standard libraries. You will also work with Spring Boot to build web applications and use the Swing framework to create desktop applications. At the end of the track, you will complete a project that showcases your skills at the junior Java developer level. Right after choosing a learning track, we suggest you to start with a recommended project or select one according to the level of difficulty you are comfortable with. You can also decide on the project user the user's review, the time it takes, the number of topics it contains, or just pick a project that piques your interest. Or you can get a detailed project description with a number of ratings provided by our learners who have successfully completed the project. The rating categories are usefulness, clarity, and fun. After selecting a project, you can explore the project structure. Each project is split into stages. You start with a simple working version of your app and then develop more and more advanced versions with every stage. On each stage, you go through the list of topics to learn for all the concepts you need on this iteration. But what are topics? Each topic is focuses on explaining one concept using multiple code examples. Topics should take around 15 minutes to complete. And you get the concept theory with multiple code examples. And then check and practice your new knowledge with quizzes and code challenges. You can solve programming assignments from the platform in the code editor online, or you can use your IntelliJ IDEA EDU or Ultimate Community Editions with EDU Tools plugin installed. As you already know, this plugin provides all the educational functionality in your favorite JetBrains IDE. After clicking the Solve in IDE button on the JetBrains Academy platform, you will be redirected to your IDE with the code challenge opened. As you can see, you have the code editor, project view, and the task window with a description for the particular code challenge you need to solve and also the check button to check your solution afterwards. On the one hand, switching to an IDE can be a natural barrier for learners because of the installation process and it has its own learning curve. But on the other hand, we believe using a proper IDE can be an additional assistant in the learning process. Thanks to all the smart features it provides such as 
code analysis, refactorings, code completions, quick fixes, and so on. And for example, on these screenshots, you can see that if you made a typo, a typo, the IDE can show the exact place where you made it and how you can fix it. So after you have written your solution, you can click the check button to verify it. And if the solution is correct, you can go back to JetBrains Academy and continue your learning. The result of solving a code challenge in the IDE will be synchronized with the platform. We also think that learning to use professional tools is as crucial as the languages and technologies. We encourage everyone to implement the project stages in the IDE and even force it for stages that need more than one file to work with. With one file, there is a choice, code editor in the browser or the IDE. And again, with the help of smart IDE features, you can solve the task and verify your solution. Please also have a look at the bottom of the task description window, where you can see the link that says pick solution. Click on it and you will be redirected back to the JetBrains Academy platform to a place where you can look at other solutions to this problem, discuss them with other learners, with other students, give advice and get help. We believe that being a part of a community and learning together is a very important thing in a learning process. So, when talking about development tools, we also talk about build tools, version control systems, and others. We have dedicated topics to help set up all the environment. And when the project is finished, it can be uploaded to GitHub. Every project you do is an excellent addition to your portfolio. Your best resume as a developer is an active GitHub account. On GitHub, there are a lot of profiles with projects from JetBrains Academy. For example, this one from an amazing student who has completed a number of JetBrains Academy projects and built up a great portfolio. And now I pass it back to Tatiana. Thanks, Anna. So let's talk about the next section of our talk. If you have some previous experience with Java and want to fill in some of the gaps, you can get a bird's eye view on Java concepts and choose what you want to learn and practice. So if you know what concept you want to learn about, it is a good idea to switch to advanced search. Cheat sheets give you a hand and help find what you are looking for. Like, uh, for example, regular expressions. You can see that I've searched for, the, for those because uh, this topic that I go back to again and again, I sometimes I need them and I don't remember them quite well. So you can switch to the topic about regular expressions in this example, and you can read or skip the theory, but it is always a good idea to solve some challenges. It will not only help to refresh your knowledge, but also to better understand your knowledge gaps. Even if you think that you know this topic quite well, maybe it's a good idea to solve some challenges and you may find some gaps. You may find that you want to refresh some knowledges. And if you do, if you realize you need to dig into it, JetBrains Academy will help you not lose sight of what you need to learn. So you can always revise the list of prerequisite topics and switch to them if needed. You can see on the slide, on the right, all the topics that you need to learn if you want to better understand this topic. But when learning and switching from one interesting topic to the next one, even more interesting one, even more exciting, it is so easy to lose track of your learning journey. Though realizing your progress and reflecting on your goals can be a big motivation to keep going. And it is actually is one of the most important aspects of learning process, of the learning process. So we created a special map. We created a knowledge map that will show your progress on the Java landscape and help you choose the next step in mastering Java. 
And again, you can see my topic there, regular expressions, and I can see all the connections, some previous topics that I may want to refresh, and some next topics that I want to switch after that one. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, uh, the Java community is one of the greatest communities of professional developers to be part of. It's got the passion of learning, but also the willingness to share and make the community strong. If you're a teacher or a professional developer or both, IntelliJ DDU can help you share your knowledge and transfer programming skills in the form of code practicing tasks and integrated tests. So Anna has shown us how JetBrains Academy students use IntelliJ DDU. But IntelliJ DDU is not only a part of the JetBrains Academy learning experience, it is a professional tool to both learn and teach programming, which brings this learning by doing approach to teachers, students, and everyone from the community. Everyone can create and share their courses with a focus on practicing right inside the IDE. So we can see the list of all courses created by the community members on this community courses sections right inside your IntelliJ IDEA. So let's take a look on one of the examples, a page beam cutters. We can choose it from the list and open it in, open in, it in the IDE. So it is one of the most popular courses. And uh, on the left, you can see a list of lessons and tasks. So the whole course program. And each task has an assignment description. On the right, you can see it now on the right. And task code in the editor. So the student needs to complete with their code. And you can see this to-do pointer where cursor stands now. So it is actually the place where students need to complete their code uh, if they want to solve this task after reading the description on the right. So inspired by the Beam Carter's course, we can now create one of our own. Let's try. So every course created with IntelliJ DEDU is structured as a list of lessons. So each lesson contains tasks of one of five different types. And you can see all of them listed here. And we are going to create a code challenge validated by test. It is the first one, the EDU one, so we choose it. So the EDU task was created and including a description a file with the exercise code and a test file to check the solutions. You can also add any other files the students may need to complete the task, the task, and you actually can hide them or show to them. And you can see all the course structure with all the lessons, all the tasks on the left, and you can see the task itself, the future code exercise code in the editor now, and there will be a test description on the right. So let's start with the code exercise. Uh, so we're going to teach with the help of simple and effective fill in the missing code exercises. So we'll need to prepare exercise code and add an answer plus holder. You can see that I've prepared a very simple code here, say hello method, and this place in the code, hello Java string, uh, that I want to be replaced with placeholder and uh, it won't be shown to students, but this type here pointer will, will be shown instead. So students will need to enter their code as the answer for this task, for this code challenge. So now when we are ready with a code exercise, we can add a test description with some useful hints using HTML or Markdown. So on the left, again, you can see the code of a description. And on the right, you can see the preview. So it's how the test description looks like for students. But the most important step, it is the step, it is the writing your custom, our custom test to automatically verify student solutions when they click the check button. If you remember, we now create this EDU task, so to the task that validated with integrated tests. 
So we create a hello Java test for our code, a simple one again, you can see it in the editor uh, within the code exercise and the test code. And uh, so we create it, a hello Java test, and we can run it to make sure that everything works, works as intended. So we run tests in IntelliJ ID as we used to, to run any tests for our Java code. And we can see that our test is green, so everything is okay, and we can go, go on. When we are ready with our task, we can review it and adjust the course information, which is conveniently stored in IML format. So on the right, you can see the help here, all the options that you can that you can use to adjust your course. If you want to customize it a little bit, you can choose some other messages for correct answers, for incorrect answers. You can choose, you can hide some files or show them. You can change the course and lessons and task descriptions. And, and on the left, you now can see all the configuration files for tasks, lessons, and course itself. So if we, are, if we are done with the course, so we now are done with the with this one, which is a small one, but is you know just just a demo. It's a good idea to view it from a student's perspective and test it. So this is how our small demo course looks. So again, you can see on the left the course structure. You can see our task here. You can see in the editor you can see the code, and you can see that a student. Uh, uh, got his answer, I mean, uh, filled in his the answer, this hello Java string, but the answer was wrong. So on the right, on the bottom, you now can see the incorrect message. And you can see some tips from our test. So actually our test was run and the student got his their answer. So if student go on and uh, proceed with the right answer. Now we can see the correct message on the bottom on the right. So everything is okay. The task was solved and yeah, hooray, the challenge was completed. And um, if we are done with the course, uh, it's a good idea to also share it, of course. And after everything has been tested and verified, we can share our course publicly or share it privately via an archive file. So this course will be shown on this community courses sections, or it can be just be private so you can send it to your students if you want, don't want to make it public. And uh, this is what a very short demo on how to create your own Java course and share your knowledge with the community. But I hope it demonstrated how simple that is to do. And I hope it's inspired you to at least to try. Uh, but now let me pass you back to Anna, who will talk about other ways you can get involved. Yes, thank you so much, Tatiana. Last but not least, we always appreciate contributions and new ideas from the community. And by contributing to Advanced Academy, you have a real opportunity to shape the learning experience not only for yourself, but for hundreds of thousands of our users. Explaining the topics, creating a project, or even submitting an idea can help you see uh, the same subject from a different angle. And the easiest way to show your support is by helping other community members. Um, answer other users' questions, post useful links and hints, and submit solutions. You can also become a tester and get exclusive first access to the new content, give us feedback, and improve the learning experience for thousands of our users. Also, you can suggest new topics and project ideas. Just let us know which topics you want to see expanded or added. And new project ideas are also welcome. Just tell us what you would be interested in working on. You can become an author and learn all about our content creating process and shape the learning experience for thousands of our users by creating topics and projects for JetBrains Academy. And also, we will be really happy, as I am now, to see your contributions to our EDU Tools plugin, which is free and open source. 
We are always happy to reward our active contributors. You can receive gems, virtual points that you can spend on the platform and get a special player uh, on our subreddit and obtain many other awesome bonuses. We are always excited to have new people join our community. And if you are interested in contributing to our educational products, please email us to academy at deadbrains.com. So you can find more information on our website. And if you want to start teaching or contributing, please follow the start guide, email us or drop a message in our Twitter. And we also prepared a small gift for everyone here. Please follow the special link, register on the Prince Academy and get three months for free to try it. And thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them now. We will be more than happy to try and answer them. Thank you so much. What a great session. I, I, I completely want to get started now. All of the blog posts that I do, I want to rewrite my blog posts in tutorial style so that people can actually play with them inside the IDE. It sounds super useful. We do have a bunch of questions, so I, I will ask you the questions in no particular order uh, to see how things go. Um, let's see. Uh, so this is a good one because this is not Java, this is Kotlin. I'm passionate about Kotlin. Are there any guidelines or articles by you experts to self-improve myself as a pragmatic programmer? Okay, so we do have our Kotlin track on JavaScript Academy. If you want to start with Kotlin language, if you uh, don't have a lot of experience with it so far. And this track is under construction, uh, but we are working on it and we are approving it and we hope that it will be an excellent track in the nearest future. So you can start with it as well. Uh, we also have our Kotlin coins course, and uh, you can go through coins and solve some challenges, Kotlin challenges. And by solving them, you can get familiar with the syntax of the language syntaxes and with the language uh, itself. And you can do it inside IntelliJ ID educational as well. I've heard a, a lot of good people, a lot of good things from people in the community about Kotlin's cones and, and, and a bunch of the other stuff that, that you've been doing around teaching Kotlin because people, especially Java developers, they do want to learn like the, the Kotlin way of doing stuff inside IntelliJ IDEA. Oh, yeah, um, by the way, sorry, Krishna. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I remember one more thing there here. So um, actually, we do have um, a special Coursera course as well. It's Kotlin for Java developers, because you mentioned Java developers. And uh, you can do assignments for this course inside IntelliJ ID Educational as well. So you can see some uh, materials, get materials on Coursera, and uh, the excellent speakers there, it's Andre Breslov and Svetri Sakova from JetBrains. Uh, they're talking about Kotlin. For Java developers, and after each uh, section, you will need to you need to, um, to to make an assignment, and you can do it through in IntelliJ ID Educational. Um, another question: Is it possible I can use JetBrains Edu products and the Academy to teach students offline to co to school and college graduates? Are there people who are already doing this? Yeah, for sure, you can use JetBrains Academy. Is an additional learning resource. You can you can share the link with your students, and um, so you're very welcome, more than welcome to, to to use it. And you can use IntelliJ IDEA EDU as Ashton. You can do your courses, special courses with a focus on practice, and you can share them th these courses with your students as well. It's no whether this is an online course, offline course, or whatever, they still can practice inside the ID and solve some challenges. And then some questions around uh, subscriptions and, and pricing and stuff. Can I get a subscription to JetBrains Academy with my educational account? Uh, no, not now. So you need to uh, buy a subscription for JetBrains Academy. Um, but we do have a lot of trial options and we do have a lot of options to extend your trial. So you start with the default seven day trial, but if you learn actively, you can uh, add one plus one month and you can add one more month. And 
If you have some difficulties with that, you can just mail us to academy.brace.com and we will talk and think about other options for you. I think that leads on nicely to the next question, which is, I caught a free trial at the end of the year. My friend wants to join, but it's too expensive for him. Are there any other promotions in sight? Now, obviously, then you, you posted this promotion, so you've got the three-month free trial, but you were also saying there are other opportunities as well. As, 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 when talking about your friends, we have this referral program at JetBrains Academy. So actually, if you are a user of JetBrains Academy, you can go to your profile and you will find the referral friend refer a friend link there and there will be a special link that you can give for your for your friends so they can get a free month extended trial as well so make lots of friends and you can have a lot of free yes. months <laughs> <laughs> they will have a lot of free months actually. oh well <laughs> make lots of friends anyway it's a good thing to do yeah. um i think that's that's all the questions i've got here uh, do you have any other sort of parting thoughts or anything else that you want to say at this point I think that we're actually we're interested in any kind of contribution as Anna mentioned, and we are looking for teachers and software developers and for learners. And if you feel ready and you maybe feel excited to try any of our of our educational products and you have some ideas of collaboration or you have any feedback, just please contact us. We have this academic database com email, but you can talk to us about anything about educational ideas. So you're very welcome because you know that education uh, it is a really interesting area at the moment and there are a lot of ideas popping up and uh, we are adjusting our products on the go. <laughs> we are listening to the community, we are trying to at least. So we're very welcome uh, everyone with any ideas about education, about online learning, about better ways to learn programming and to teach programming. And it's such a huge topic. So um, as developer advocates, we, you know, we have some overlap into this, this area as well. It's always really tricky trying to figure out. I liked the, the sort of learning track thing that you had. The idea of like what things do developers need to know? What orders yeah. should they be taught in? What's, what's a key skill and what's like a kind of nice to have? So and I, I think when I was trying to think about what I could teach developers as a developer advocate. I'm like, this is just huge. You have to have the community involvement. You you have to have experienced developers saying, I know this kind of cool stuff. Let me teach other developers how to do this stuff. So it's it, I think it's really I think it's great that we have this idea of the community involvement and get get people creating courses for other developers. So it's not just down to like a handful of people to to decide who gets to teach what to whom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And we now work with several experts from the community, several professional teachers and professional developers, and they uh, gave our, give us feedback on our tracks for JetBrains Academy or, and on our courses and on some community courses as well. But we are looking for more experts. <laughs> so we, we just need them. <laughs> so if you feel that you're maybe the one of them, just please contact us. That's really great, and uh, and and I will. I promise I will attempt to create some courses as well soon. Oh, <laughs> Maybe <be> one day. <laughs> I would love to because, you know, I really love writing the blog posts and things, but I want people, like you said, the hands-on practical thing. The, the I can write a blog post and say copy and paste this, but I don't want people to do that. I want them to use the IDE. I want them to write the code. I want them to to experience what it's like to actually, you know, write this stuff. And I think these tools are really good for that sort of thing. Yeah, and actually, this is one of the ideas behind our educational products as well, because we think a lot about blended learning as well. When uh, you have a lot of materials, whether it's a blog post or some online course or whatever, but you want to um, advance it with some practicing, and you can do this practice in our ID. So you can you can supply your other learning materials, your other teaching materials with this practicing part. So you don't need to create the whole course in IntelliJ ID. You do. You can uh, use it as a supplementary practicing material. And we got one more question. Um, I'm 13. I'm at school. Can I get a free license because I'm at school? <laughs> I paraphrase that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mail us, please. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Uh, you can just contact our community support uh, about your educational license. Yeah. And I think we will process it. Great. Well, thank you very much. It was a great session. And, um, you know, I'm passionate about education. I think it's cool that you that, that, that we as JetBrains are doing this sort of thing. Thank you so much.
Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.